So there's the storm system now continuing to lift to the north. There's all that moisture and that band of moisture out in the Gulf of Mexico actually heading our way. This is a nasty cell moving right through Apalachicola right now. That red box is a tornado warning in effect for a radar indicated tornado. Thankfully, as it moves toward us, the intensity of that line should come down, but that's what's going to up our rain chances a little later on this afternoon into tonight. For now, first warning live Doppler radar showing torrential downpour still for Flagler County, though fading here in Volusia County and watching a few popcorn showers across Northern Lake as well. Tower Cam Network taking us down to the tourist district. It is a blanket of cloudiness, which has limited the temperature climb a bit. 84 in the city. It's 83 degrees in Deland and 79 in New Smyrna Beach. Visible satellite presentation showing little bit of sunshine the further south you go, but basically Basically, I four to the north almost socked into the clouds. Now it won't stop us from climbing. It's just going to slow that temperature climb a bit. So upper 80s to the lower 90s across town, close to where we should be this time of year. And notice through 3 p.m. future cast keeping with some coastal showers. Then through 5 p.m. This is some new information from earlier model runs. We'll be in a bit of a break and then that moisture coming in from the Gulf 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock starts bringing us showers and storms. So it's more of a dinner time bedtime kind of a thing versus an early afternoon like school dismissal kind of a thing. All right, so expect the storms later on but the clouds will linger about. Now we've got a lot of moisture and the pattern is such that we're going to stay with this tail of moisture for a couple more days. But if you're tired of it, and I've gotten a couple of social media and email messages saying that, I get it. Notice Saturday, we're still with the storms, but by Sunday, those rain chances start to drop and into next week. Take a look. Central Florida certified most accurate seven day forecast dropping from that 60, 70, 80% coverage we had last week to like a 30% coverage of rain for our Monday and our Tuesday.